In this Arrowhive Getting Started video, I'll use Hive Manager Express Mode to define an employee SID secured with WPA2 Personal. In Express Mode, if you go to the Configuration menu, you are taken to the Guided Configuration screen, which provides three simple steps for configuring and updating your APs. Here you can see a list of APs that have discovered Hive Manager. APs can discover Hive Manager from DNS settings such as HiveManager.YourDomain, DHCP options 225 and 226, a local broadcast, or by accessing the Arrowhive Cloud Redirector at redirector.arrowhive.com, which will redirect your APs to your Hive Manager. The APs with their unique host names are listed on this screen. You can click the host name for an AP to modify its device specific settings. Here you have the ability to set the AP's host name, topology map, decide whether you want to use mesh on the 2.4 or 5 GHz radios, configure a static IP address for the AP, and configure many other device specific options. For this demonstration, no settings need to be specified, so I will click Cancel. Next, I will proceed to Step 2 to configure SSIDs and user access. At this point, you can configure your SSIDs. Please note that until you decide to update the configuration of your APs, the settings will not be activated. When defining an SSID, the first selection item is for determining whether the SSID is for internal access, used for employees, faculty, teachers, students, or anyone that needs long-term access, or whether it is for guests or short-term access. Making this selection helps narrow the scope of the options displayed in the configuration of an SSID and will automatically define default settings for items like quality of service, stateful firewall policies, and rate limiting depending on whether the SSID is for internal or guest access. The Profile Name field is the name of the SSID profile stored in Hive Manager. The SSID field is used to set the actual name that is advertised on the air. The Profile field cannot have spaces in its name, but you can have spaces in the SSID field. By default, Hive Manager replicates the Profile Name field to the SSID field, but you can modify the SSID field individually if you require spaces. I will define the first SSID as internal access because it will be used for employees. Now I will give it a profile name and SSID set to Corp Wi-Fi. I will secure this SSID with WPA WPA2 Personal, which encrypts all traffic and requires the users to enter a secure passphrase to connect to this SSID for employee network access. To ensure you enter a passphrase correctly, you can uncheck the box next to Obscure Password so you can see the passphrase in clear text as you enter it. Now I will enter a secure passphrase. Please make sure that your passphrase is secure because it grants wireless access to your corporate network. It is recommended that you use upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and the longer it is, the more secure it is. I will enter the passphrase again to confirm. Optionally, you can specify a VLAN to assign to the stations connected to this SSID, or specify more advanced user profile settings not covered in this demonstration. The advanced settings, including firewall, QoS, and service level assurance settings, are covered in the online documentation and computer-based training modules accessible by clicking Help from the top menu bar. Now I will save this SSID.